All right, so it's called the Southeast Agricultural Research and Extension Center, or CREC. Mm -hmm. Much shorter, a little easier to say, but it is the place to be for plant lovers. It's a 150-acre farm which hosts year-round agricultural research programs, and in the summer, it transforms into a beautiful display of colors for the annual Penn State Flower Trials. Here's a behind-the-scenes sneak peek at what this year's flower trials will bring. Just a quick drive from downtown Lancaster and you'll find the Southeast Agricultural Research and Extension Center. And upon arrival, you're immediately drawn to all of the colors that you can see in the greenhouse. If you're looking for a new purple petunia, we've got five of them. From petunias to dahlias, greenery and more, you'll find nearly 1,000 plant varieties here from growers nationwide, ready to be put to the test for this year's flower trials. A university trial means they get to trial their material against everyone else's stuff. They want to see how they're doing against the competition and how their plants are going to perform in a place like Pennsylvania, where we get droughty conditions, we get weeks with no sun, we get hot night temperatures, and all of that is really important to a plant and its survival. This is an opportunity to test some of the newest and most interesting plant varieties that are being grown. And sometimes we get really interesting weird stuff. So this is a geranium. It's called Stars and Stripes. And you can see it's it's one of the first striped geraniums that I've ever seen. And in the next couple of days, all of these flowers will be transported and planted here for the trials to begin. CREC opens this space up to the public every summer so homeowners and business owners alike can see what's new and what they might want to plant in their gardens. However, beyond the flower trials, this place is always a buzz with volunteers maintaining the gardens and scientists conducting research projects. They can be focused on growing corn in the best way. They can be focused on environmental impacts of agriculture. We do a little bit of everything except animals. We don't work with animals here, although we do have some bees. Collins says this spot is one of the best kept secrets of Lancaster County and should be on everyone's list to stop by this summer. Even if you just have a, a few minutes to stop by, it's something that's really nice to be able to do and just kind of get a glimpse of what's going on with Penn State Agricultural Research. All right, so that place looks awesome. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Those greenhouses, huge. But can like, if you go visit, can you buy the plants? Are they for sale? Unfortunately, no. They want people to come and see them, but the goal is you can take notes of what you like, go to your local nurseries and encourage them to buy some of those plants and keep stock, and then we can kind of keep the plant economy going that way. Which makes sense. You don't want to take business in the way. There's so many great little local greenhouses yeah. really all across South Central PA. So just yes. kind of uh, inspiring you to get those, yeah. get those going. And the entire center is open for people to stop by. The trials themselves start on June 1st. You can visit from sunup to sundown, and they really encourage you to do so. We've got more information up on our website, fox43.com.